Well, uh, I live out in Georgia, and there's a lot of people I talk to who are ultra right wing, you know, Ron Paul libertarians. Uh, is there any way for the? I mean, they're they're extremely cynical. Is there any way to reach out on the left? Is there any way to reach out and talk to them about? You know, trying to bring them over to the left? Well, I think what you have to do is ask what makes them Ron Paul libertarians. And I, you know, I don't happen to think that that makes a lot of sense, but uh, uh, nevertheless underlying it are feelings that do make sense. I mean, the feeling, for example, that the government is our enemy. Well, that's an, it's a very widespread feeling. And in fact, that's been induced by propaganda as well. So pretty soon it'll be April 15th and the people in your neighborhood are going to have to send in their income taxes. The way they're going to look at it, and the way we've been trained to look at it, is that there's some alien force, like maybe from Mars, which is stealing our hard-earned money from us, namely the government. Okay, well that would be true in a totalitarian state. But if you had a democratic society, you'd look at it the other way around. You'd say, great, it's April 15th, we're all going to contribute to uh, implement the plans that we jointly decided on for the benefit of all of us. But that idea is even more frightening than Social Security. It means that we would have a functioning democracy and no center of concentrated power is ever going to want that, you know, for perfectly obvious reasons. So yes, there's major efforts and su pretty successful efforts to get people to fear the government as their enemy, not to regard it as the uh, an int as just the collective population acting in terms of common goals that we've uh, uh, decided on, which would be what hap would happen in a democracy. Uh, and is, to an extent, what does happen in functioning democracies, like Bolivia, of course, country in South America, yeah, it's kind of what's happening there, more or less, but in very remote from here. So, well, I think, you know, Ron Paul supporters can be uh, appeal to on, on these grounds. They're also against uh, military intervention and we can ask, okay, why? You know, I mean, is it just for their own security or because they want to be richer or something? Well, you know, I doubt it. I think people are concerned that you know, we'll destroy the Iraq and so on. So I think there are lots of grounds for, uh, for uh, finding, there are lots of common grounds that can be explored even if the outcomes at the moment look very different. They look different because they're framed within fixed doctrines, but those doctrines are not graven in stone, and they can be undermined. All right, well, Dr. Yeah. Chomsky, thank you so much. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah.